Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, especially all you digital nomads that clicked on the link to see how you can come to Costa Rica and live here for up to two years actually. So they are in the process of passing this new law. It just went to the second debate, 34 congressmen uh, approved of it. So once it passes second debate, uh, the president has to sign off on it and then they'll go through and uh, fine tune all of the details, all the law or I guess laws and rules on how you can get a long term visa in Costa Rica to be able to stay down here for up to two years and work abroad. So uh, they really want to promote uh, digital nomads to come to Costa Rica and uh, they're doing so by passing this this new visa, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to go over a couple of the details that there is on it. I have a couple of pages up here to uh, go over it. Yeah, so the, the Estancia, it's called, <laughs> or this Estancia will be valid for one year, renewable for an additional one year only. So like I said, maximum of two years. Um, to be able to extend that, you must have stayed in Costa Rica for at least 180 days in the original year that you had this uh, visa granted. So you can't just come for like uh, 60 days and then take off and think that you're gonna get the other one extended. Uh, you probably have to reapply or I don't know. That's some of the rules that they're going to have to figure out. Um, if you uh, came down here as a digital nomad under this visa and you ended up having a child down here, you can then apply to have your residency changed at that point. So then you become a temporary resident and then eventually a citizen as well. Um, so to be eligible for this, the foreign national must provide documentation that proves that he or she received a monthly and stable income or rent of at least 3,000 USD for the past year. If the person will include dependents on the application, then they need to prove an income or rent of at least $4,000. So if you're coming down alone, 3,000. If you're a family, 4,000. Or if you're a couple, 4,000. Um, if there are dependents, the income or rent of one of the dependents, dependents, such as the spouse or partner, can be added so that together they can come up with $4,000. So it doesn't have to be like if it was us as a family, it would be just me have to make $4,000 uh, total. Um, if me and Shana both worked, then it could be $2,000. You can combine that, which is awesome. Um, I was wondering how they were going to do that because, I mean, not everybody makes $4,000 USD a month online, but at least you can combine it as a family. Um, I don't know if you could have like if you had like a teenager or something that has a YouTube gaming channel or something if that counts um, but again that's going to be all in the details once they pass this and figure it all out. Um, the documentation must show that the rent or income will continue to be received even when the person's not in their home country so it's just showing that if you're working online you're still going to receive that same amount or I, I guess rent maybe if you have a house back in Canada or the US and you rent it out and you can prove that you're making that I guess that counts as well. Um, just they just want to make sure that you have money coming in and you're not down here working illegally or whatever. If any, the digital nomad and all dependents will be obligated to purchase medical insurance to cover them during the stay. So you will have to have medical insurance down here because you're not going to be a, a resident. You're not going to have CAHA, so you're going to have to prove that you have at least medical insurance so you, that you're covered in case something happens. So yeah, um, one, one thing that this says on here um, on the website is that an interesting about this Estancia is that it will allow for dependents. Uh, a lot of countries don't allow that where it has to be individual people that have to apply. So if you're a family, it'd have to be like four different applications if you're a family of four. Uh, this, this will include spouses um, or partners unmarried, uh, like a common law, I guess. Children under the age of 25 and uh, t children of, over the age of 25 exclusively if they have a disability, if they have to be in your care. So that's really cool that they're at 25 and under. I mean, that's that's really cool. Most most things would be like 19 and under or 18 and under as a dependent. So um, uh, the bill states the documents such as typical birth and marriage certificates have to be apostled and legalized. So that's um, one thing the lawyers here will be able to do for you if you can't get it back home. But yeah, you know, they'll, they'll have all this laid out once the uh, law is signed off on. So here's some stuff too. The bill also states that digital nomads will enjoy the following benefits. Uh, full exemption from income tax and any other utility taxes that may come from the income generated abroad. So you're not going to have to pay income tax on that money you're making in country. Um, obviously, you still have to do that back in your home country, so they're not going to have a double tax for you. 
Um, there's also a full exemption for customs taxes regarding the instruments, materials and equipment necessary to perform the work the Digital Nomad is coming to perform remotely in the country during the validity of the Estancia. If the Digital Nomad were to sell such equipment, the necessary and applicable taxes would need to be paid. So if you're coming down, um, you can be a photographer, wedding photographer, I don't know, <laughs> different things like that. Um, all that equipment's going to be uh, non-tax, which is nice because you're coming here to work remotely uh, or digitally. Uh, digital nomads with the Estancia will be allowed to drive as long as their foreign driver's license is valid. So uh, before you come down and do that, make sure your license is up to date, otherwise you're going to have to fly back to renew it. In some cases like British Columbia and Canada, um, a lot of places, uh, states and provinces, you can actually reapply for your driver's license or renew it online. Um, so yeah, make sure that's up to date. Uh, digital nomads will also be allowed to open bank accounts in the country. Um, that's kind of weird because uh, right now, as a tourist, you can open a bank account, especially if you're from Canada, it's super easy. Uh, you just have to provide some stuff, but I guess maybe this way you can have more funds in there than, than what's allowed right now. Uh, and then the application is gonna be uh, filled out online, so the process will be very quick and expedited. You don't have to go into a meeting in San Jose or Liberia or wherever to, to get this done. So yeah, it's just saying that uh, it's, it's uh, approved in the second debate, still need to wait uh, for the president to sign off on it. So it's not 100%, but there's a good chance that he'll sign off on it because it's going to bring some more money into the country, which is going to help provide jobs for everybody. Uh, like digital nomads are going to be eating out. They're going to be at the grocery store buying groceries, uh, fuel for their car, uh, all sorts of things, doing tours. So yeah, it's going to it's going to benefit everybody that's in the communities where these people are going to live. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. So yeah, it's pretty much it for now. Uh, as soon as things come up on, so I just did a video on the. Um, the new law for the uh, rentista pensionado and investment uh, residencies so go check that video out um, as soon as there's more information on that and this one i'm going to do a combined video to let you guys know what the the rules are and stuff like that if you guys want let me know comment below um, also we've had a lot of digital nomads stay with us here at ccasa because we have the best possible internet you can get in the area we've got everything you need to be able to cook here so it's uh, really inexpensive to live and uh, be able to cook and not have to eat out all the time and be able to work. We've had uh, people stay with us that both worked online. They worked all day, no issues with the internet, doing Zoom calls, stuff like that. So uh, if you are a digital nomad, you're watching this and you wanna come check out the Samra area, definitely come and stay with us at Casa. We know what it's like to work online, so that's why we've set everything up like this. Maybe a comfortable area in a shipping container for you to uh, stay in. But uh, yeah, just go to ccasasamra.com. It has all the information there. And uh, we'd love to have you guys come stay with us and meet you, especially if you're, uh, if you're a fellow YouTuber as well, like we are. Uh, we like meeting people that are into the same stuff. So um, yeah, I uh, look forward to meeting some of you in the future. We also offer our consultation services. If you guys are looking to either travel or move to Costa Rica, we can just set up a one hour Zoom meeting with you uh, for a small fee. And we'll go over your questions with you. We've done a lot of these and there's gonna be a video coming up on some testimonials on that. And for you digital nomads out there, I want to say to click below on the NordVPN link. You're gonna save on your VPN for working abroad if you don't have it yet. This is the fastest the VPN out there. And uh, we've teamed up with them to give you a discount, so click on that. The discounts do change throughout the year, so depending on when you click on that, it's gonna be a different uh, uh, discount as well as a few free months right now for the summer um, so yeah if you click on that you can sign up save some money and uh, you can protect your computer while you're traveling as well as you can uh, load up a different uh, IP address for the states Canada wherever you want to go or wherever you want to pretend to be and be able to watch Netflix from those those countries or different shows online on different websites so yeah click that link below save some money and protect yourself and uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come with new videos and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.